Okay, so I'm going to be attaching these files, but um, I just wanted to have a more um, broad perspective. Let's put it that way. Where all the cards get in the picture. Okay, there we go. Wow, interesting. Interesting spread here, Leo. Okay, so the heart of the matter is the page of wants. Start spreading the news. Good news arriving in February for you. Now, um, okay, so in the past position, we have the five of wands. This can be conflict. This can be some kind of um, situation that you are butting heads with someone. There's some kind of disagreements, disagreement or disagreements, but then something happens where you have good news arriving. And in February, there is a full moon in your opposite, in your, I'm sorry, in your sign, which means that the sun is opposing it from the seventh house. And the seventh house is a house of marriage, committed partnership, legal affairs. So you might have some resolution with a legal affair. Um, but it's, it's almost like liberating to you because the full moon is in your sign. So you are, there's an ending of sorts and we do get the, the, that card as confirmation. The higher message is the ace of wands, new, exciting projects, things that uh, you are initiating. And what I get from these cards is that you get to do this. You have the freedom you might have had your hands tied. You might have been in a toxic situation, in a workplace situation that was very toxic and competitive and didn't um, create the kind of unity that would allow for people to work together in peace. That's not a good environment. So if you have been freed from that in some reason, if you have gotten a new job or if you've started a new business, then there you go. What crosses you is the Ten of Swords. This is the card of betrayal, the card of ending a negative cycle. Uh, in the challenge position, how I see it is that you keep it alive. That if you were betrayed by somebody at work or in a marriage or the equivalent type of relationship, that you don't let it go. That you That even if you have good things coming in, new things coming in, that you're still stuck in that um, negative vibe. You have to be the one to change this. It doesn't come from outside of you. So being able to, um, acknowledge any kind of pain that's associated, associated with an ending that felt maybe disrespectful in some way, that somebody didn't care enough to tell you the truth or to um, give you the benefit of the doubt or whatever might have happened. Actually, I don't think it would be the benefit of the doubt. I think it would be more likely someone just, uh, you know, um, cheating on you or cheating you, lying about you, trying to compete with you uh, by any means necessary in the workplace and that leading to some kind of negative outcome that you have a whole new thing going on here. And especially when it comes to like starting your own business, there's like a lot of creative energy in this and, uh, on the top row there. And so if you are someone who is um, sitting on all of your talent and you're not, that's like they call it hiding your light under a bushel. You don't want to do that. You want to share it with the world. You know, God gave you that talent for a reason. So um, that can be your ticket to freedom as well. What's coming in is the Hierophant. This could be a corporate position. This could be um, in terms of marriage. 
um, I mean, uh, well, the thing is, this can be associated with marriage, but how I'm seeing it is that there's not that, that you have to look at um, issues surrounding conforming to a particular religion or, com or particular idea. Uh, so this is a card that can be associated with uh, kind of uh, towing the line and being very, um, uh, you know, conventional in your approach. But um, if this is, you know, that's another aspect of this. If you've met someone and you feel like a strong connection to them and you, if you have been fighting with your partner, you may realize that there's a higher purpose in life. And that's kind of what the Hierophant is about too, is God. How does God figure into all of this? What does God want for you? Does God want you to be unhappy or does God want you to be happy? So uh, I was reading this like you have left a relationship, but it's possible that um, you are still technically in it, but you are kind of uh, conflicted about whether to stay or to go. And actually the outcome card kind of says it all. Uh, the world card is the last card of the major arcana. And so it can speak to endings, but with a finality, not just like ending dot, 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 you know, to be continued almost, but a, uh, a final you know, ending that chapter. And I think that's why I got that card too, is because sometimes people don't have a clean break and they keep going back and forth. And that's not what you want to do. You want to have something where you can say goodbye gra gracefully or graciously and then move on with your life and allow that person to move on with their life as well, rather than prolonging something that is not working, where you're not happy, where that person isn't happy. Okay, that's what I have for you, Leo. I hope that this resonated. Um, also, the, I just want to say that the world card can also involve travel. Um, if you would like a private reading, the link is below. Take care. Bye. Hi, Leo. Welcome to your February 2022 tarot reading, general tarot reading. <laughs> I had just like found out what my, um, where I was supposed to put everything. I don't know, my mark. <laughs> and then I overshot it. Oh, Trina here. <laughs> my intro. I'm like trying to, I don't know. Wow. Look at that. The first ones are fire. Oh, wow. I want to bring that out. Okay. 